everyone, welcome to another CS14 SI video. My name is Cody Q, and then I'll be your SI leader for today. In today's video, we'll be going over 234G's deletion. So, when we delete items from a tree, instead of splitting nodes like inserting elements into a tree, we'll be instead merging them on the way we traverse down. We'll see this into effect later. In 234 trees, there are around three different cases when it comes to dealing with them, some with subparts though. If an element in a node, that is a leaf node, contains at least two keys, simply remove the element from that node. If the element is in the eternal node, we should do one of the following. If the element's left child has at least two keys, replace the element with the predecessor, then we delete that predecessor at the same time. If the element right child has at least two keys, replace the element with the successor, then we would delete that successor also. If both children have one key at least, merge the left and the right children with that same element, then rec recursively delete the element. If the element is not in the internal node, follow the proper nodes to find that element. To ensure all nodes we traverse down will have at least two keys, we have to prefer one of the following before descending into a node. If the child node has at least one key, and the sibling has at least two keys, move an element down from the parent into the child with the one key, and move the element from the sibling into that parent, essentially doing a rotation. If both children nodes are siblings with one key each, merge the children and the parent element together, then delete your respective element. All right, let's see an example. In this 2, 3, 4 tree, we're going to be deleting the numbers in order of 1, 7, 6, 9, 3, 8, 4, 5, and 11. First, we're going to be deleting 1. We start at the top of the tree and traverse down to the leaf node where 1 is stored at. Since it's a leaf node with two keys, we can just delete it. Our next deletion is going to be 7. It's also a leaf node with a single key, so we should be looking at its siblings. Since the siblings has two keys, we are going to have to do a rotate of 5 and 6. Then we can delete 7. Now we're going to be deleting 6. Since it's a leaf node also, we're going to be checking its siblings at the 4 node. It has a single key, so we're going to do a merge with the parent then we are allowed to delete 6. Now we're going to be deleting 9. But before that, since we have the rule of merging down before we traverse, and since we start at the root 8, it already has a child, two children, both of one key. Because of that, we're going to be merging them before going further down. And from here, since 9 is a leaf node with two keys in the node, we can just delete it. Now we're going to be deleting 3. It is an internal node, so we're going to have to check its children to see if it both has a single key, or at least has one of them being at least more than one key. Since the node at 4-5 is a two key, we can just copy the successor and then delete the successor afterwards. Now we're going to be deleting 8. 8 is also an internal node, and it has children that are single key nodes. Instead, we're going to be merging them together. Then we are allowed to delete 8. Now we're going to be deleting 4. It is an internal node, and it has a child with two keys inside of it. We copy the 5, which is the successor, and then delete the successor afterwards. Now we're going to be deleting 5. It is an internal node, and it has children with single keys, so we merge them. Then we are allowed to delete 5. Lastly, we're going to be deleting 11. It is an internal node, and since the left child has two keys, we can copy the predecessor and then delete the predecessor afterwards. 
thus completing all of our deletions. I hope these examples help everyone understand how deletions work within 2, 3, 4 trees. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you so much, have a nice day everyone.